This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Substance, the new synth from Output. Now, we've got a couple of different controls here at the top that we're going to be taking a look at in this video specifically. That is the macro and the arpeggiator. So let's take a look at the macro. So you can see that when we, when we click on this macro tab, we get to adjust what the macros are that affect the main page. Now, if you want to learn more about the main page and hear some of the sounds from it, be sure to check out the other video that we've done on the Substance main page. Now, once we click on macro, we see we've got four slots to play with. As we click on each of these numbers, it shows us what is happening to that slot. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at this noise macro. When we play something through the synth, let's go ahead and load up just our, uh, our standard first sound here. When we play something through the synth and we adjust the macro, you can hear the effect that it has. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and turn the distortion lo-fi. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on here. When I do that, and I click uh, to turn it on, it shows me which macro uh, it is currently affecting. So when I go back to the main page and adjust the noise here, you can see that distortion lo-fi is now affecting that particular macro control. Now I can also adjust the range of this, which is really cool. If I want this to, you know, really have an effect on it, I can go ahead and adjust it here. And you can hear that that really starts to uh, control how much of that effect in particular I'm getting with the macro control. Now the really cool thing about this is, if you were to go around and, and want to adjust what's in the macro, you can go into the main, you can select which macro you're working with. Let's say we want to work with the uh, tone macro. We can select that and we can choose which things we want to affect the tone macro. So let's go in here to, let's say we want the distortion tube. We click on that. It brings us right here. It flashes. It shows us which one we're working with. And now we can change the actual controls there. And you can hear how that affects the sound. So the macros are very customizable. It's very easy to get set up and, and do what you need to do with that. Let's go into the arpeggiator. So from the main tab, we click on arpeggiator and we can see that it's currently off. We just play a note and it dies out. So if we want this to play a pattern or a rhythm, we click on the arpeggiator. And you can see that just playing one note down here on the keyboard brings up an entire pattern. starting to play chords, we're starting to get uh, multiple notes in these patterns, and we can choose kind of one of these presets uh, based on whatever we'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and play a D minor chord here. And we start to get these very cool arpeggiated patterns. So we can of course go in and adjust the actual pattern we're choosing. We don't have to just choose one of the presets. We can go in here and by clicking on pattern, uh, we can choose which rhythm we are actually using. We can choose the rate 
if we want it to go uh, instead of eighth notes, let's say we wanted to go uh, 16th notes. <laughs> We can also choose how much swing we'd like. And that swing is affecting the gate. We can also completely randomize the stepper. So you can see that there are just a lot of possibilities here. There's a lot of controls. Um, we can choose if we want you know, syncopated patterns, triplet patterns. There's just so much uh, depth in this section. Uh, you could play around with it for hours and probably still not set all the sounds that you could get. So arpeggiator is a very cool feature in this synthesizer. It allows you to write from within contact, right within the synthesizer, it allows you to uh, really make this thing, uh, you know, play whatever pattern you like based on chords or notes that you're playing on your keyboard. So that is the macro and the arpeggio section of Substance by Output, a very cool synthesizer. If you want to learn more about this synthesizer, be sure to check out our other videos detailing the entire synth. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Westlake Pro for more videos like this.